It's really late. I need to go to bed. Ugh. Hey, you guys, and welcome back to my channel for today's video. I am so excited to be sharing with you my current favorite drugstore blushes. So these are just my favorite blushes as of right now from the drugstore, super affordable. Um, some of these may not work for all skin tones. I will say that, so I apologize. Um, but these are just ones that really work for me and that I really enjoy. So yeah, so if you're interested in hearing my current favorite drugstore blushes that I cannot live without right now, then just keep on watching. Okay, so first I'm gonna start off with a couple of cream blushes. I don't really use these like super often but these are they're just super good the best affordable cream blushes that i've found um this is the elf cream blush in the shade peach perfection and it does have a very nice like sheen to it um that is what that looks like it is just a super nice peachy color oh, i just absolutely love it um the way it blends into the skin it just blends so effortlessly and it i don't want to say it blends away but it blends away enough to where it just doesn't look too bold. Because when you first swatch it, you know, you're like, whoa, like that's a lot. <laughs> but it's really not too bold. And I just love the way it looks on the skin. It gives your skin just a nice flush. And I love it. Next is the NYX Bright Idea Illuminating Stick. And this is in the shade Coralicious. Um, it's like a stick that kind of looks like this. And it does like twist up. I did get this at Ulta, and I will kind of show you what this one looks like. This one is a lot more um, kind of opaque. It has a just a deeper shade as well, um, but it also blends out oh, seamlessly, and it feels so good on the skin. Super creamy, and I really like it that now be sure when you are applying cream products that you are not applying them on top of powders because that can cause the powders and the products underneath the powders to move around so be sure to apply these before you are setting your face just an fyi that's why i don't really tend to use a lot of like cream products as much because <laughs> sometimes i forget i'm like oh i want to use a cream blush or a cream highlight but i already set my face so yeah, a little makeup wipe so I can wipe these swatches off for the next one. Okay, so this is probably the cheapest one out of all of them. Um, this is the Essence Satin Touch Blush in the shade Satin Coral. I just love this. It's just so cute and little. But let me tell you, this thing packs a punch. Um, as you can see, it is very, it looks very light. So... It looks so light, but it's so pigmented. Like it seriously packs a punch. It gives your skin just like the best flush of just peachy, corally goodness. <laughs> and it like blends so well into the skin. Like it does not, you know, it's not like super powdery to where it just blows away. And I feel like it's honestly pretty long wearing to be, I want to say it's like $2.50 or $3 at Ulta. Out of this world, I know. I love Essence. Like, they have some really good products. Next, I'm going to move on to the, probably the next two cheapest ones out of the bunch. These are the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blushes. Now, my favorites are Apricot in the middle. This is more of a, kind of a apricot shade, <laughs> I guess you would say. But it's a very sheeny apricot, like apricot orangey shade. Um... I would say almost honestly along the lines of nude like it doesn't really pick up even that much onto the skin um but it is a very just sheeny orangey apricot shade like i'm sorry if i'm so terrible at describing these shades but it's just so pretty it's like a light peach coral shade if that makes sense it does have sheen to it so that can emphasize any texture so if you don't want that this may not be the one for you but it's i feel like it's beautiful i can honestly somewhat act as a highlight as well so if you just kind of like blend out your like blow out your blush a little bit more than just on the apples um, of the cheeks if you put it a little bit higher i feel like it can look also as a highlight so it's kind of like a two-in-one thing there for if you're maybe in a hurry one day also the shade Mellow Wine. It's just a, I want to say it's like a peachy mauve type shade. Um, and these are super pigmented, like, like that, oh, like that is just, 
It's so, so pretty. I absolutely love it. I feel like it would be universally flattering on most skin tones. And it's so, so pigmented. That's why I love those blushes. And they're probably about $3 or $2.50, $2.90, something like that. So super affordable as well. Okay, next is um, I have two of the my blah, two of the Maybelline Fit Me blushes. I have the shade Peach, which is this one. And this is also has a very wide bit of sheen in it as well. So you're probably not gonna be able to see it too much, but it's like a very light um like a very light pink shade. It's not really super peachy, I wouldn't really call it. I would say more of like a light pink, to be honest. Like a baby light pink, but with a lot of sheen to it. So that's also one to kind of be careful if you do have a lot of texture, because that can emphasize that. I also have to be very careful, like if my skin's kind of acting up, I can't really use those ones that have a lot of sheen in it. Okay, and the next one from the Maybelline Fit Me is the shade Coral. I love this one as well. It honestly looks pretty similar. It's just a little bit more of like an, kind of like an orangey tone, but it doesn't really look it whenever it's swatched. Now these look so much different when they're swatched than when they're on the face. So keep that in mind. I'm just kind of giving you like an idea of it. Those are both, those both also have a sheen. So be careful. I do love my blushes with sheen to them though. I feel like, like with a little bit of shine to them, I just, I love it. I don't know what it is, but I love it. Okay, this is the Makeup Revolution. It's called the Matte Blush and this is in the shade Nude. Um, this is one of the most pigmented blushes that I've ever tried. Um, you have to be like super careful. Like it does not look pigmented whenever it's swatched, but okay. Yes, I lied to you. Um, <laughs> like look at that. It is a very pretty rose kind of pinky shade, like a rose mauve. It is beautiful, but be so, so careful with this one. If you're not careful, you will look like a clown because I have plenty of times before. <laughs> I get kind of carried away and I kind of forget the blush I'm using and I'm like, oh, that one, I forgot. <laughs> it can get um, kind of crazy real quick. So just be careful, but that's more, I feel like that's a really good, just kind of all year round shade while some of like the corals and peachy tones can be for more of like my summer shades when it comes to like fall and winter i like to go for more of like a mauve like a mauve pink shade you know like or like a nude neutral shade rather than like those corals and peaches that i tend to go for in like the spring and summer months so this is probably the most expensive one um this is the burt's bees blush in the shade toasted cinnamon oh my gosh like Kathleen Lights recommended this and I have not been able to put it down. Like I have not. It does not swatch well at all. Like it's probably, I don't know if it's gonna show up. Yes, like it's it, exactly what it says. Like a cinnamon, like a nude cinnamon shade. Like that's, it's exactly what it says it is. I feel like it's also just really good for any looks. Like I feel like sometimes when I'm going for blushes, I like to figure out what's gonna go well with like my eye makeup. So I feel like with this one, it will really go with everything. Now, be careful with this one because sometimes if you're not careful, it can look too much like your bronzer shade and then it will possibly look like you took your bronzer all the way like just kind of drench your cheeks in bronzer. Now, if that's the look you're going for, totally fine. But if you're wanting a, you know, to be able to tell the difference in your blush and your bronzer, be careful with this because if you're not careful, like I said, they can kind of muddy together and it's just not a good look for me at least. Just throwing it out there. But this is just so beautiful. I absolutely love it. I really want to go get the, um, I feel like a peach shade that I really want to get. So probably gonna do that next okay and my last two are from milani i love milani blushes so so much i want to get like all of them um but this first one is the blossom time rose one i absolutely love the packaging of this one and it's just beautiful like look at that oh it looks so like high end so let me swatch this one this one does also have a sheen as well it's a very light 
pink shade. Um, probably not, I mean, you can kind of see a little bit of it, but it's just a very, it's a very natural pink blush. Um, it is very pigmented though, like don't let that swatch fool you. When it's on the cheeks and when you're applying it with a blush brush, like be careful because that's one as well that I've gotten carried away with and it can get just very deep and very quick on the cheeks. So just be careful. But I absolutely love this. It does have a sheen to it, but it's just beautiful. I will say this sheen is not as much as like the other ones to wear. This one's not really going to emphasize your texture as much as some of those others with the sheen to it. And the last one by Milani, and this is the last one of my favorites of blushes from the drugstore. This is um, the Baked Blush in Luminoso. It's a cult favorite, I feel like here, like a drugstore cult favorite. Um, it's just the most beautiful coral peach sheeny shade. Oh my gosh. Just the way it's like, it blends out on your, on your cheeks. Oh, it's actually what I'm wearing today. So yeah, this is what's on. Save the best for last, right? It's, I feel like that's also a very universal shade. It may not show up on some deeper skin notes. I'm not sure, like it may because it has that sheen to it, but I'm not completely sure. But I just absolutely love it. Um, it's just, gives your cheek kind of like a natural flush. So yeah, I just, I love that like look of when you just came in, you know, from the cold and you just look like you have a little flush to you. Um, that's how I like, that's kind of a look that I go for for my blushes. I like them to be kind of fairly natural. Um, always add a little bit on like the tip of my nose too because I just think it's so cute. <laughs> I just absolutely love blush. So I hope this video was helpful for you all. I hope you enjoyed my recommendations of the top blushes that are at the drugstore. There are so many that I do want to try right now, but these are just ones that I've not been able to put down. So I do plan on going to pick up more here soon. I want to try some of those L'Oreal Paradise, like the scented blushes. I'm going to go get some of those here soon, but for now, can't put these down so yeah that's what I've been sticking to sticking to what I know <laughs> just for a little bit but I hope you all enjoyed this video let me know down below in the comments like what are some of your favorite drugstore and affordable blushes I would love to try some more because I am just addicted to blushes I can't help it okay it's really late I need to go to bed Ooh. so yeah I would love to know just some more what are your favorite drugstore blushes what are ones that you've been wanting to try and yeah, so let me know. But that is it for this video. I really hope you all enjoyed it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave if you're not already. I would really appreciate it. And um, hope you all are having a wonderful day or night wherever you are. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Speaking my heart.